The Zone, sponsored by Mountain Dew, Terre Haute Savings Bank, and Union Center for Sports Medicine. Now with the best gridiron show in the Wabash Valley, Rick Simmer and Ross Rawling. Good evening and welcome to our first In the Zone of 2013 in Check out this beautiful set. Spiffy, right? I don't know if we're, we're good. supposed to be up here, are we? This is a surprise to us, It was right? a surprise. We walked in here two seconds management ago. Management didn't tell us, but hey, we'll take these kind of surprises. So. <laughs> a little bling. <laughs> Sports good. 10 was so excited about the kickoff to the season, we went out and covered 16 games for you, the fans, tonight. We were all over the Wabash Valley, all over the state for that matter, really, <laughs> as far north as Turkey Run, all the way down south in Evansville, over in Indy. Lots of mileage on the cars. Don't worry, though. Lots of good highlights for you folks tonight. <laughs> Lots. Terre Haute North was one of the teams we went on the road with all the way over to Indy. North had one of their biggest season openers in school history as the Class 5A 7th-ranked Patriots face 3rd-ranked Castle at Lucas Oil Stadium the, in the Horseshoe Classic. Let's head to the home of the Apple Colts. Look at what former Terre Haute North star and New York Giants punter Steve Weatherford tweeted to me earlier. At Weatherford 5 said, good luck to my Terre Haute North football at Lucas Oil Stadium, hashtag in the zone. This North defense has a chance to be awesome this year. Castle going deep down the field. Austin Massey playing center field gets the easy pick. Terre Haute North had more than 200 rushing yards in the first half. Patriot running back Ricky Brickens doing a great job and a lot of damage. North up 7 0. North can also hurt you in the air. Chris Baird, a perfect strike to Jordan Muthery, who races 53 yards to the house. This North team was a well-oiled machine tonight. Ricky Brekins, this kid's so fun to watch with the ball in his hands. He races 22 yards for another score. All Terre Haute North. Take a look at this, folks. It's not final yet. Late in the fourth quarter, Terre Haute North is going to win. They are crushing third-ranked Castle. 46 to 6. Class 5A, 15th ranked Terre Haute South open to Evansville North. First quarter, Terre Haute South star defensive lineman Junior Barry with the sack. The Toledo recruit looking good as Evansville North picks up some big yardage on this play, but the South defense would respond after the field goal. South offense would finally get going. There's Barry picking up some That's steam. another North touchdown. <laughs> that is another. They scored North. a lot early in this game. But South here, here comes South back. Timmy Heron to Jacob Johnson. He did a great job of hauling in that pass. Then late in the first half, Heron going back to the air. And he finds Logan Dady this time late in the first half. South, though, can't make it up as we go to the scoreboard. South puts up a fight, but they fall to Evansville North 37 to 20. Ross. So the Terre Haute School split tonight. North Vermillion opening the season with one of their highest preseason rankings in school history. The Mighty Falcons ranked fourth in the state in Class 1A. North Vermillion kicked off their season tonight at Turkey Run, and the Falcons wasted no time imposing their will. First play from scrimmage, Turkey Run trying to pass. Linebacker Abbott Dower says no way. Jumps the route, picks up a nice return. Great field position for the Falcon. Oh, like they need it. Folks, get to know this young man, Jacob Earl, the lead tailback this year, replacing star Cody Zumwalt. No problem. A couple dirty cuts, then a stiff arm on his way to the end zone for six. The Falcons' defense got him the ball right back. They went right back to Earl. The sophomore running back's second touch of the game resulted in his second score of the game. That causes at Nate O'Neill to tweet me saying, you need to tweet more about that Earl kid. Heard he had six TDs tonight. Ridiculous. <laughs> Nate, it was only five. The sixth was called back on a hold. Earl finished with 158 yards, only five carries, folks. He had four rushing scores, scooped one up, and took it to the barn. No big deal. North Vermillion beats Turkey Run 56 to nothing. South Vermillion at Covington. High hopes in Clinton this season. They think they can turn the corner and it looks promising here. Handoff to Adam Crouch coming right at us. He turns the corner and is knocked out of the goal line. That sets up an easy six. Then the Wildcats defense making it happen. Mike Musel says, somebody stop me. Nobody can right here. He smokes the ball carrier in the backfield. Later in the game, the Cats going to Crouch again. He dives across the plane for another score. South Vermillion gets off to a great start to the season. The nice. Wildcats flexing muscles over Covington. 35-2 the final. A big time win for South <laughs> Vermillion. What a start to this one, folks. We've still got 12 more 
When we come back, we have highlights from Sullivan, West Vigo, Northview, Rockville, North Knox, North and South Putnam, whatever else we can find. Just All of it. Stay with us. <laughs>